Hey everyone, Magic here with another Valheim video for you. Today I'll be discussing how the Valheim skill system works. I'll go over how acquiring experience works, how each skill earns experience differently, and how increasing your skill level improves your character. Keep in mind all the numbers are subject to change. The numbers I was working with come from the version 0.147.3. The first important thing to know is that anytime you're seeing numbers after a swing, you will be gaining experience, even if you are seeing zeros. Now, skills are broken up into three categories, combat skills, movement skills, and gathering skills. For combat skills, you have axes, bows, clubs, knives, pole arms, spears, swords, and unarmed. I also added blocking skill here as part of the combat skills, but we'll see later on that it behaves a little bit differently than the other weapon skills. Now, for movement skills, we have jumping, running, sneaking, and swimming. Lastly, you've got your gathering skills, pickaxes, and woodcutting. Hitting objects such as trees and stones rewards a weapon or tool's base experience. With weapons, hitting enemies or players gives a 1.5 times multiplier on top of the base experience. Displayed on screen are the base experience gains per swing for each weapon and tool, as well as the base experience gains per second moving for movement skills. Note that each jump rewards half an experience point and sneaking gets a 10 times multiplier when sneaking near an enemy. Sneaking by multiple targets has no additional effect. As mentioned before, the combat skills benefit from a 1.5 times multiplier when attacking enemies or players. On top of that, all skills receive an additional 1.5 times multiplier if you have the rested buff active on your character. These experience modifiers make a huge difference for leveling up your skills, and it is always recommended to have the rested buff while you're using your skills. The last thing I wanted to mention about gaining experience has to do with blocking. Since you cannot make an attack against an enemy or player, you cannot get that 1.5 times multiplier. Instead, you will receive 2 times experience when you parry an attack. And just to remind you guys, you parry an attack when you block an attack at least a quarter second before it's going to hit you. Alright, enough talk about how we get experience, let's get into what those levels can do for us. Increasing your skill will typically do two main things for you will increase the amount of damage you do, and it will reduce the amount of stamina used. In terms of damage, it's pretty straightforward. No matter what type of weapon you're using, you will gain 0.67% more damage every level. In other words, every 15 skill will give you 10% more damage. For stamina, different weapon archetypes will consume different amounts of stamina. Similarly to how damage works, each skill will reduce the energy consumed by 0.67%. I should note that a character with no food consumed has a base of 75 stamina. This means that each section of stamina that you see is equal to 25 stamina. Displayed on screen is the amount of stamina consumed at skill level 0 and 100. Some weapons and tools can be grouped up since they consume the same amount of stamina. Knives and unarmed, swords and axes, including pickaxes and woodcutting axes, spears and clubs, pole arms, and two-handed maces. Bows are a special case. Increasing the skill doesn't decrease the amount of stamina consumed by holding a drawn arrow. Instead, it decreases the time it takes for the aiming cone to fully converge. You can see in this clip that a skill level of 25 with bows, it takes less than 2 seconds to fully draw the bow. Each second holding the bow drawn will consume 5 stamina. Now in this clip, with a skill level of 75, it takes close to half a second for the bow to be fully drawn. Holding the drawn bow will still consume 5 stamina a second. Next up is movement skills. Jumping will always consume 11 energy. Running, sneaking, and swimming will reduce the amount of stamina consumed with an increase in skill. Additionally, the velocity at which you run increases by 25%, and the maximum jump height increases by 75%. Unfortunately, increasing sneaking and swimming skills does not increase the velocity of those movement skills. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I did some testing with how blocking consumes stamina, but getting exact numbers from enemies dealing a range of damage sucks. That being said, there are three things I did learn while testing blocking skill. Higher quality shields need less stamina to block. High damaging hits require more energy to block. And the higher your blocking skill, the less stamina that gets consumed when blocking. I may come back to blocking with regards to stamina consumption in another video. 
So that about wraps up this video. As always, if I missed anything or made a mistake in the video, let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, leave a like, and if you want to see more Valheim videos, hit the subscribe button. If you have any Valheim questions, drop into my Discord and ask in the Valheim Questions and Answers channel. Thanks for watching. Magic out.